Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to see about uh, the shipping point determination for the SDB pivots. And many people does know about the shipping point determination at the plant level. But uh, today we are going to see about uh, at store reduction level. Okay. But I'm not explaining the all the configurations. But only uh, I'm just activating you know shipping point determination at plant level. Okay. So first we'll see some configurations. Okay, well, let me. I just want to find the document delivery type. We have to activate the uh, delivery type level uh, level only. So we have to find the delivery type. Document type is mine is UB, and my supplying plant is IN double zero. Okay, my doc delivery type is uh, NL. So I'm just going to activate the shipping point determination at this delivery type, okay? At for the uh, you know uh, store location level. So SPRO. And yeah. Logistic executions, shipping, basic shipping data and expand this and expand this here define the rules for the determination uh, of uh, shipping point okay just double click on it and my doc delivery type is nl and look at this this is at a uh, plant level okay so if i try to create the PO, and if I, you can see uh, another configuration which is at plant level what is the my shipping, shipping point okay if i go here 0 1 my plant is supply plant is in double zero and this is the my shipping point when uh, uh now currently it is at plant level shipping point determination okay so if i try to create the PO, it's going to be determined this okay if i create the stv PO, am i sorry i mean uh me 21 and document is document type is ub and my supplying plant is this one material quantity And the receiving plant is IN01 store location. Okay, if I go shipping data and look at this, this is the shipping point which is determined from this configuration. Okay, even if I enter the store location, you're receiving store location, still same shipping point is going to be determined. Okay, if I enter the 4000, still same. If I change 2000, still the same. If I use 1000, still the same. Okay, I am just doing the configuration uh, that is shipping point determination at store location level. So, so we should have to activate at a delivery type level. So my delivery type is NL for the STOPO for this. So it is the small configuration we just activate this i'm just activating it now just come back and see this configuration assign a shipping point according to store locations i did that if i enter this my loading group here this is my plan if i enter this sorry and look at this sorry uh for this okay for this store location 1000 store location it should be determined this one uh yeah. for the 2000 store location it should be determined this if for 3000 it should be determined this if it is 4000 it should be determined this so that for the supplying plant side okay so i'm just going again PO. 
I'm just activated now. Okay, let me check whether I've activated or not. What is the delivery type? It is LNL. Okay, I have activated. I'm just come back again to this configuration. Now I'm checking. So only my configuration only is there uh, here. So yeah, first I'm not changing anything because just I done the changes. So uh, configuration changes. I'm just going here. So initially it, it is uh, IN double zero. I'm just changing it to thousand. Sorry, I have to come back to create the new pillar. So document type is UB. And again, supply plant is IN double zero and rest of things we need to enter here. And then material we need to enter. And the, my receiving plant is IN double zero, IN zero one. Enter the receiving store location. And you can see default store shipping point is IN double zero. So now if I enter this store location here, that is supplying store location. So as for the configuration, it should be determined if I enter the thousand, that is IN double zero. Okay. So already IN double zero is there. So I'm just sending uh, thousand. So that should be, uh, that means IN zero one should be determined. Okay. So I'm just entering 2000. That means shipping point will be IN zero one. Look at this. Okay, if I change the uh, shipping uh, no, store location, then it should be IN02. If I enter, look at this. If I enter the uh, 4000, then again, it's going to be determined IN00. Okay. Uh, this is about how to uh, configure the, you know, uh, STFU for the shipping point determination at store locations. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.